What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute full body, no equipment, feel good workout. This workout is going to be great for everyone. And if you're someone who just needs to move today, you just want to feel good, this is going to be your jam. This is also going to be a great workout for if you're out of town, you need to get something in quick before a big day. I just want you to move your body with just your body weight, no repeats, and we're going to leave feeling better. Okay, so 40 to 45 seconds of work for every exercise. Top to bottom, we've got 26 exercises. So we'll hit a quick warm up and then we'll rock right into it and we're going to hit full body today. So you've got some arms, you've got some legs and you've got some core and then of course some full body combo moves but just think of this workout as its intention is to make you feel good fully motivated or not really feeling it today just show up move with me change some things around on exercises if you need to but I promise you're gonna leave feeling amazing so grab your water grab your sweat towel make sure you lock the video in with a thumbs up if you're here to crush it and let's go ahead and get warmed up all right let's step it out and reach up three two one here we go very proud of you for showing up today. I'm gonna get you out of here in 30 minutes and we're just gonna move. Okay, one time for every exercise. If it's an exercise where we do one side, we'll obviously hit both sides. Good, bring it up. It's gonna be low impact, pretty much strength based. Good job. Take it to the side here, twist, twist. So we have some planks, push-ups, squats, lunges, different core moves. You don't have to worry about any burpees or high knees. Just stink, strength, strong body, feel good, doing it for me today. All right, hands on your tailbone, push and reach. Good job. And you'll see the up next window up here showing you every workout or every exercise right before we do it. So pay attention to that. I'm gonna kind of let you get into your zone today. Just tell you what's next and we'll just move together. Last one, good, squat. Two more. Last one, open and cross. Good job, we're gonna get started in just about 15 seconds with an inchworm push-up. Okay, walking it out. If you need to drop to your knees for the push-up, feel free. All right, and then inchworm back into your toes. We're going right here in three, two, one. Let's go, exercise one. Make this as intense as you need it to be. Go hard, slow it down, whatever you need today. This is about you feeling better when you leave. Fifteen more seconds and we'll be done with these. Two, one, and rest. Your next move, we're gonna go plank, knee to elbow. Okay, crossing under your body. We go in seven. Exhale, two, one. Keep your hips low. Your hands nailed into the floor, shoulders are right over top of them. Beautiful, 20 more seconds. Five, four, rest, good, come on up. Swing your right leg out front, okay? You're gonna go down and twist in this lunge. So you're here, okay? 
you want to step in and out, you can. But I want you to sit, twist. Ready? Go. Good job, keep it up. Feel connected to your core here, okay? So make sure you're not just bending. Sit, twist, push up and stand. One more, two, one, rest. And you're just gonna switch legs. So like I told you, some moves will be one side and then the next, this is one of those moves. Okay, equal out the balance here. Three, two, let's go. Good job. Moving on to a little core after this, so stay focused. Five. Two, one, come on down to your right hip. We've got a mermaid crunch, so lock your knees together. Lean it back onto your glute, or up and down. If you need to modify, just the top leg. Three, two, let's go. You're rolling on your glute, so it's not on your actual hip bone. Good job, 20. Two, one, lay it down flat. You've got bicycles. Then we'll switch to the other side, mermaid crunch. Right, you can go heels on the ground if you need to. Three, two, let's go. Good job, keep the tailbone tucked back to the floor. Great work, proud of you, keep it up. Ten. Two, one, rest. All right, other side, mermaid crunch. Legs together, if you need to modify, it's just the top leg. Roll back onto the glute. Three, two, let's go. If you're using two legs, keep them together. Twenty. Ten. Three, two, one. Flip over onto your glutes. Left leg is down. Okay, right leg is just a little bit out front. Hands are here. You're gonna go hamstring, pull. 
okay? That front leg can be here, can be here, or you can use it if you need to. Let's go. And if this is too much right now, just go single leg glute bridge right here, okay? Great job, 10. Two, and rest. Same thing, other leg. Let's go, four, three, two, and come on. exercise nine so we're about to enter into our double digits here 15 three two one lay it down on your back for jackknives One leg if you need to, two if you can. Three, two, let's go. gonna go dips okay little pulses hips are up you're bending your elbows so they go backwards in that bend okay pulse it out four two let's go make sure your hips aren't going this way up and down create space between your ears and your shoulders so you're not sinking in here, <sighs> nice and tall. Fifteen. Good job, five. Two, one, and you've got push-ups. All right, you're doing great. Grab water. All right, five seconds. On your knees, on an incline, on your toes, wherever you're at. Let's go. I just think about pushing the floor away from my chest. stomach. Superman, pull backs. You're reaching out front. When you lift, pull back. Okay. Squeeze those lats. 
Use your lower back to lift your chest. Two, one, let's go. See if you can keep your legs up using your glutes. Twenty. Rest, good job. Come onto your forearms, plank, hip taps. Okay, you're touching each hip to the floor per side. If you need a modification, come up onto your knees and hands and just stack, okay? Let's go. Feel the stretch as you reach down towards the floor and that bottom oblique, lift it up. Fifteen. <sighs> Two, one, come into a plank position. Taking your right leg, you're gonna go three point, reaching up for the sky and then bring it down. So you're here and crunch. Ready? Three, two, one, plank it out, cross the knee to elbow, and back up again. Great job, moving your strong body, you're doing great, 20. Five, two, one. Grab water, you're doing the same thing on the other side. Whew. Nine. Three, two, one, go. Great work. Perfect, 15 more seconds, come on. Step forward with that foot and stand up. Open it up. <sighs> Squat pulse, opposite floor tap. So you're here. Touch, touch. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Touch, pull. Keep your chest up, keep your butt low. Good job. Good, now let's split the arms. Up, up, up. Fifteen, good, down, up, down, up. Five, three, two, one. Keep your left leg right here. You've got a lunge circuit with the right. So you're going forward, side, back, forward, 
Keep this leg moving. Three, two, one, let's go. Great job. Good work. Two, one, rest. Same thing on the other leg, okay? These single side moves, two chance to grab water in between. Four. And let's go. Good job, keep going, keep going. Five, two, one, pike push up. Okay, you're in a pike position. Head is headed down for the floor, elbows go out to the side. Here and up. Okay, if you're not ready for that, Give me an elbow touch. Ready? Let's go. Do not have to touch the floor, but take your head down towards it. The crown of your head. Press the palm of your hand, the outer edge, into the floor. Push that floor away from your head. Thirty. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep going. Five. Two. One. That's twenty exercises down. You're gonna go sit up and bridge with the right leg. Okay. So right leg is here. You're gonna sit up. Hands here. Bridge. Okay. Let's go. Two. One. Get to full hip extension. Good job, you're feeling good, feeling strong. This month was meant to teach you all about your own strength. Show yourself here, 10. Five, two, and you know what's coming. Rest, switch legs. Okay, same thing. Take it in, you're doing great. This is 22, exercise 22 out of 26. So we're right there. Let's go. All designed to make you connect with your body, feel strong. And feel good when you leave. There you go. Squeeze that glute at the top. Make sure you're not just lifting your hips up and down. Ten. Three, two, one, sit up, put your hands right under your shoulders. Okay, we're gonna go reverse plank. So it can look like this. If you're not there yet, bridge, okay? 
Wherever you're at, keep your hips up. Two, one, let's go. Now, similar to the other plank, when you're facing the floor, you wanna make sure your butt's not sagging or if this were flipped over, up in the air, okay? Flexing your core, flexing your glutes, flexing your quads. Strong, full body move. 10 more seconds. Two, one, flip it over and stand up. Staggered squat and knee drive, okay? Left leg stays right here. You're gonna go squat, drive, squat, drive. Okay, the back leg is just going a little bit out of the way. Let's go. There you go, focus on the squat. Stay in this leg. Fifteen. Five. Rest, good. One more, switch it to the other side. Whew. All right, here we go. Stay right here, six, five, two, one, let's go. Keep the front leg out. Good job, 15. Five. And rest. Toe tap, cross punch is your last one. Here, here, okay? This could be as intense as you want it to be. Three, last one, two, one, Go, punch, 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 punch. Let's get it. Let something out here that you've been holding in. Leave feeling better. Good job, come on, over, over. Now, if you wanna step it up, you've got 20 seconds to go. Boom. 15. Six. Three, two, and one. Amazing job. Full body, feel good workout. Give me a thumbs up, put your hands on your hips. You've made it to your cool down. Gently push forward. Gonna leave feeling great. Hand it back, hands on your knees. Fill up your lungs really big. Good, fill them up again one more time. Exhale, grab onto your toes, sit your hips down. Elbows are inside of your knees. Lean against your elbows so you're pushing your knees out and open. Good, now roll back onto your foot, keep your head up. Drop your hips, lift your chest. Good, bring your hands together if you can. Open your chest up. There you go, hands down, knees down. Shift your hips back, 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 back. Look forward towards your thumbs so we can keep your head up. 
big deep breath in. As you exhale, lift your hips up and drop them down. Lift your chin, drop your hips, relax into your shoulders. Always remember you're worth this feeling. Come into a plank, exhale, walk it back to your toes. Roll it up nice and slow. Let's go hip circles, front side back. Remember this feeling, okay? You're feeling good right now and I'm really proud of you. Your strength helps you get to these places where workouts can feel good and they don't have to be punishment. They shouldn't be punishment. Switch directions. They should not be working off calories. They shouldn't be working off a certain place where you think, oh, there's too much jiggle here, right? Leave it here. Workouts help you feel confident. Moving your body in a way that makes you feel good helps you feel confident. And your confidence comes from eating well, making sure you're fueling your body for workouts to feel good, not fueling your body in whatever manner you want and then punishing yourself with workouts. This relationship has to be a give-give for you. You give all you've got in your workout and you give yourself great nutrition. You give yourself the chance to work on your mental health. You give yourself to be ambitious in life because your whole mind isn't consumed with what can I eat, what's the best choice, is this a good food, is this a bad food, is this the right timing, what supplements do I need? Leave it at, move in a way that helps you feel confident, move in a way that makes you feel better, and move in a way that helps you care about how you treat your body outside of the workout, including the way you talk to your own body. It's not just damage yourself, it's not hate yourself until you get there. It's love yourself enough right now to do things that make you feel great and that help you regain your confidence. Will it always be there? No, but you always know how to get there. You always know I'm gonna put on my good music, I'm gonna move in a way that makes me feel good, and I'm gonna remind myself why I'm here. Why am I doing all of this? To feel better, ultimately to feel better overall. So I want you to leave this workout feeling good. Put your hands on your chest. I am proud of myself, right? I am thankful for my body. I am thankful for my mind. And I am excited about the ambition that I have for everything I want to do in the future. And this body, this version of me, is the only one that's going to get me there. So I will see you there. And let's keep going on that journey together. Make sure you grab your workout calendar for tier number three of Summertime Fine and your vacation tickets in the description below. I hope to work out with you this month, and I will see you there. Great job today.